Alright, the last little bit that I'm going to do on this clay is I'm going to try to detail the face a little bit better. This is the uh, original face and there's some detail in it that's not into this one here, the wherever it is right there. So I'm going to work on that right now. Sorry if I'm using can't see everything because I'm using one camera today instead of two. This little feature that I'm putting into his face is characteristic of uh, the modern day John Lovewell. And I would think that it would be a feature that uh, would be inherited. And so that's why I'm putting it into uh, this John Lovewell's face. This little feature on the side of the cheek. Well, as you can see, I've been working. Well, as you can see, I've been working on the clay. And this dark stuff is wax. And uh, what I'm doing is the end of the powder horn here and the back part of the uh, pouch. The uh, strap for the powder horn and the strap for the pouch are, are separate. And um, did the same thing here on the front. Uh, powder horn strap, uh, pow uh, the uh, pouch strap and then I did the bottom edge of the uh, uh, pouch with uh, wax uh, as well as the uh, flap that goes over the, the powder horn and then the uh, patch knife which I have the end of the knife right here so all that was done in wax because wax will hold its shape better and uh, it'll be more consistent in keeping its shape well and of course uh, like I've shown you in the past I uh, paint the wax so it looks like uh, the rest of the clay only because less confusing and all when I photograph it
Now where the uh, strap goes across the shoulder, I have it disappearing into the shoulder. There's a reason for that is because the uh, fabric of the jacket would puff up around it as the uh, strap would bury itself into the soft part of the coat. And so that's what I'm just doing here is just showing that soft part of the coat. I'm going to make the hair now of the ponytail. <clears throat> this is the uh, original. You can see the size difference of the uh, hair and uh, the ribbon. Whoop, don't fall. Stay where I put you. There we go. I'm just going to put a little bit of that ribbon around the uh, ponytail, showing where it's tied off. Then I'm going to hang a little bit of the ribbon the back of his uh, neck. 